Hello, here we are with another Let's Play. Another old Batman game. This time we have The Adventures of Batman and Robin on the uh, Super Nintendo. You didn't see that. You didn't see me changing it to easy. Pretend you didn't see that. I think, this, I think it's for the best. The game based on the animated series, of course. Really nice title here. Uh, this is a game I've only played a couple of times. I find it to be very difficult. Um, yeah. Master Bruce, we've picked up a suspicious sounding broadcast. Really, Alfred? Bruce Wayne, and there's Harley Quinn. The first level is the Joker. Uh, I don't really know what the other levels are because I haven't gotten to them. I've never gotten past the first level, although I've only played it a, played it a couple of times. So. Uh, but I know that each level has its own villain, so it isn't just a Joker throughout the entire game. Yeah, yeah, shut up, Joker. We've had enough of you. Uh, I know two faces in it. He's the boss of some level. And... Um, The Mad Hatter, I know he's in it. I think Poison Ivy's in it too. It'd be nice to see some of them, but yeah. Let's be real here. We ain't getting past the first level. We're, we're just getting the Joker. It doesn't matter that I changed it to easy. We I, I, I've never figured out how the hell to get up there, so I'm just gonna ignore that guy. I mean, he's not harming anyone anyway, he's just firing randomly with a Tommy gun. Come on, stop punching bat. And as usual, I always press the wrong buttons. And again, I was supposed to punch him and I jumped. And previously I was supposed to jump and instead I punched. The Amusement Mile, a fun house of death. Hi dear Batman! Welcome to the Joker's Fun House! Do you like my Harley Quinn voice? Do you think I should voice Harley Quinn myself in her session? Let me know down in the comments. Maybe I don't even need to have to have any auditions for her. I can just do it myself. And here are these um, Joker robot -y, mannequin robot thingies that we saw in an episode of the show. Uh, the first ep no, the second episode of the show. Uh, the first Joker episode. Christmas with the Joker. The Joker robots that fire machine gun bullets from their fingers. Um. Ooh, ah, ooh, that hurts. Hurt Batman's feet. Where does Joker get all his wonderful toys? No, 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 don't, don't land right on the spikes. Stupid idiot. Why would you do that, Batman? Oh, oof, oof, ooh. And here's a sorta boss. It's not the final boss, that's obviously Joker. This is like an extra boss, because there's not enough bosses. And you all know, you all know how I feel about bosses. And this game is chock full of bosses. Wasn't this thing in Christmas with the Joker as well, or something similar to it, I wanna say it was? Because Joker had so much high-tech robotic stuff in his first episode. And then not really anymore, except for, you know, uh, the, uh, the, uh, what was it, the second episode, 
Captain Clown, let's not forget good old Captain Clown. But after that, he never really used any robots again, did he? I don't, I don't you know. No high tech stuff. Which, of course, he shouldn't. It's obvious they hadn't really quite figured out early on in the show, figured out how they wanted to do things, like they gave the Joker, for instance, a bunch of high tech gadgets. And later they realized that they really wanted to go with more like a classic film noir gangster vibe so you know the villains don't really have a bunch of sci-fi stuff instead they have just tommy guns and goons and regular cars stuff like that not giant robots you know except of course the uh, villains that require that kind of stuff like the mad hatter obviously had his mind control technology but that's part of that character but you know, Two-Face didn't randomly show up with an army of robots and ray guns. You're supposed to kick the guy in the head, by the way. You know, climb up on his spike cane thingy and kick him in the head. Ah, this is so tedious! Oh, come on! And you're supposed to avoid the things that falls from his head, the stars. I don't really know what that is. It's like in a cartoon, when you get hit on the head, you see stars around your head. But this guy's stars, they will kill you. What? Why ain't I reaching up? Come on, you short bat. Why is Batman so short? There we go, blow up his head, come on, do it. Oh, there's the Joker. I found you, Joker. Surrender quietly. Does that ever work? Like, seriously, Batman? What is the point of even trying? You're so naive, Batman, so naive. I wonder why the Joker never gets sick of you. Nice graphics, nice music, everything is awesome in this game, except that it's too hard. Uh, again, like Batman Returns, the Sega version is completely different, and a lot worse. Again, it doesn't have the music from, uh, you know, the source material. Instead, it has random music. Here you got the music from the show. As you should have, of course course when it comes to movies and shows the music can often be one of the most memorable things about it right I hate this boss I've never gotten past this boss uh, but I've played it on medium every time prior to this and now I'm playing it on easy so let's see how it goes terribly Terrible. Batman is kicking bombs. That's how you do it. You kick him. That's how you stay safe from bomb attacks. Just kick the bomb. So if someone ever attacks you with a bomb, just punch the bomb and everything will be fine. Well, obviously not. As we saw there, it wasn't fine, so don't take that advice. Don't. Don't punch the bombs like stupid Batman does. No wonder he keeps on dying. Walking around punching bombs. Hit, 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 hit. I am hitting, I am hitting, I'm hitting as hitting as I can. Kick, 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 kick. Wow, I full life when I get to this part. Never had that before. But he's bombarding me. I mean, I suppose you're supposed to punch it to exactly the right moment. It's just not easy. Yes. Yeah, do your little speech, you s silly 
man. But this isn't easy. How come he doesn't get hit from those things? Those big, those big things. He should get hit too. Ooh, why did I roll there? That was dangerous. Come on, Joker! Just die already! Can't you just die so we can see the river? No, not me, not me. You are supposed to die. I wanna see who's the villain in the next level. Uh, it should be Two-Face, right? Because it's level two, get it? Probably isn't, though. Ah, oh, man, I just... I just don't know. I just don't know. The battery in my camera is about to die. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> There's just one tiny little bar left. So, I bet it dies the instant... The instant that I manage to murder the Joker and get to the second level. You know, if that happens, if that happens, that I actually beat this level, the camera's gonna die right there, I just know it. Man, punch the bombs. Punch him. Punching bombs is the only thing you're good at, Batman. Maybe I should just punch repeated. No, no, that doesn't work either. Oh, come on, I'm losing so much life, I don't stand a chance in the next part. When we have a fist fight. <sighs> Why is Joker so tough? Isn't he usually a sissy when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat? Shouldn't Batman be able to knock him out with one punch? That's usually how it is. But no, not in this game. Here the Joker has got to be like a pro martial artist. Rats. No bats. Ow, ow, and then the annoying things come that will knock you off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, he was spraying acid. That rascal. And this flower. I mean, ain't it enough? I gotta deal with this dumb clown. I gotta deal with those things too. Yeah, just, just, just can't do it. Not even on easy. Not even on easy you can do it. They call this easy? Still one tiny little bar left. Hide, Batman. Just hide. It's the only thing you're good at. Isn't it strange that I always keep sucking at these Batman games, but I did X-Men really well? That's strange. Maybe I should never play Batman, ba ba Batman games anymore. There's been several people saying they want to see me play the Arkham games. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Which one would I even pick? Asylum, City, Origins, Night? No. It's gonna be either Asylum or City, I guess. But if I play City, all I'm gonna do the entire playthrough is just complain about the fact that Two-Face isn't in it enough. You know, that's all I'm gonna be doing. I got quite a lot of life for once on this part. Maybe I was I, I played a little bit better because I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention this time around. I was just oh, no. oh fuck you you fucking goddamn I had a chance this time because I had so much life and I got knocked off by that stupid <sighs> Why did they make the Joker the first villain anyway? Like shouldn't he be later in the game? Start off with someone uh, else, not the nemesis. Why would you start off with Joker? Maybe he returns later in the game. I don't know. Hope not. Who needs more Joker? Could have started off with the penguin instead, maybe? I don't know. The Riddler? 
Well, maybe not the Riddler. I think a Riddler level, I don't know if Riddler is in this game, but a Riddler level really needs to have some kind of like puzzle solving. And maybe a puzzle solving level isn't the way to start off your game. You want to start off with something a bit more action packed. Like this. But you could have had, I don't know, Killer Croc, maybe. Scarecrow. Is Scarecrow in this game? Or you know, Mad Hatter, because he's not really one of the main villains. I mean, it's not, it's not like he's a minor villain, but he's not as big as Two-Face and the Riddler and those guys. So he would have been a nice, nice way to start off your game, maybe. I don't know what I'm babbling about. Wow, you should do that more, Batman. You should throw him to the ground and strangle him. Why oh, didn't you do that? You had a chance. You had him. You had you had him in your grip. You could have strangled the life out of that stupid clown, but you didn't. You just let him go, and then he killed you. Why, Batman? Why? We didn't get any further. We didn't get to see the next level. What the hell? Uneasy. Uneasy. I couldn't even do it uneasy. I think this is a sign. This is a sign. I should never play Batman games ever anymore. I should stick to other properties because I just can't play Batman games. I probably never even finished the Arkham games. I've just been lying all this time. I mean, what do you know? You didn't see me play them. I just lied. I just looked up a playthrough on YouTube so I know about them and, you know, can talk about the characters. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm admitting it now. I never finished any of them. I died on the first level <laughs> of every single Arkham game. I've never gotten past the first goon. The first goon always killed me. I guess I'll see you in the asylum next time. Goodbye.